Hello guys, TWC Coaster here. You may be wondering why you're not being able to see anything. It's because I'm going to be bringing you some information, including the possible drop of all Viacom channels on DirecTV or NTAT Uverse. Um, this this notification had just popped up in my my day. If they do not settle on midnight of Midnight of Friday, which would be 12 o'clock midnight on Saturday. While you're asleep, Viacom could drop DirecTV channels off of DirecTV, I mean. And here's the, here is the um, article about it. It says, Viacom and ATT's DirecTV and Uber systems are nearing the deadline of their current carriage agreement. Which expires at midnight Eastern on Friday, which will be 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. The Saber rating follows direct NTT's decision last week to drop all Viacom networks from the basic attire of its new DirecTV Now packages. In a statement, Viacom has said it's made a series of offers that are good for consumers and good for NTT, but got a cool reception on the other side. Of the negotiating table. Like Dish Network and other rivals, NTAT, Viacom is blaming the dispute on the part of the makeup of the newly consulted NTAT. The telecom giant owns the number one traditional satellite operator, DirecTV cable operator Uverse, which is just shy of 4 million subscribers, and Warner Media's potent mix of TV and film content. During the 16-month legal showdown with the government, which sued and tried to block NTT's $81 million equestrian of Time Warner, competitors argued that a combined company would use a distribution and programming assets as a weapon to harm rivals and, therefore, customers. Unfortunately, NTT is abusing its new market position by favoring its own content, which significantly underperform, underperforms Viacom to stop or, or, or stifle or stifle competition. Viacom's statement continues, NTT's direct TV behavior is also consistent with a recent pattern of going their customers by charging them higher prices for an inferior product with fewer channels. Especially troubling, NTT's DirecTV is marginalizing diverse audiences in its new DTV packages and threatening to do the same with their existing products. Viacom is committed to developing strong relationships with our distribution partners. We have successfully renewed a series of distribution relationships re representing more than half of our subscriber base over the last two years and have not made a disruption in our service since 2014. While we continue to make every effort and reach a new carriage agreement, NTAT's unwillingness to engage in the constructive conversations unfortunately could, cause, could force a disruption in service. NTAT did not immediately respond to the deadline's request for comment. At the same time, it is warning customers. Viacom is also trying to buckle up internal moral. Last week, when DirecTV now dropped Viacom from a basic tire of its skinny bundle, the company's stock dropped, along with those of Discovery and AMC Networks. And questions were raised once again about the company's tra tragedy. The rebuff came after two years of the progress by its CEO's Bob Backish, the new leader has set up a repairing the distribution relationships that it had that had deteriorized badly under predecessor Filippi Duman, despite warnings rating in a transforming <coughs> TV bundle environment. Dowman took a hyper excessive nostalgating no stance and was the result of a pitch and costly battles, Viacom and Suddenly, which is also, which is now part of Loud's Alliance, has black 
Had a blackout that lasted three years. Here's the few texts of Bacchus' memo to employees. Team, over the past two years, we've made incredible progress in strengthening and involving our domestic distribution pro uh, business. Not only have we secured more carriage for our, ba for our, ba our brands, And with existing partners and new, we've also expanded the definition of par partnership to include new elements like eventing advertising and co-production arrangements. In the process, we've renewed and extended more than half of our subscriber base, securing deals with Alice, Charter, Comcast, and others to give audiences greater access to our brands and more choice in how they consume our content, which recently in the Charter Essentials product, which Charter announced a few weeks ago. In that same part, or same spirit of partnership, Viacom has been working to negotiate an agreement with NTT to renew its distribution of our channels on DirecTV and NTT's video services. We've made a series of offers that are both good for consumers and good for NTT, giving subscribers more access to the Viacom, channel, Viacom channels they love, while enabling NTT to lower subscribers' bills and provide customers with a variety of packages and price points. Importantly, our offers would ensure NTT is able to continue serving the diverse audiences that prefer Viacom to any other cable programmer and constant with our other uh, recent distribution deals we want to work with NTT on new opportunities that go beyond our traditional carriage. Despite these efforts, NTT continues to insist on an unreasonable and extreme terms that are totally inconsistent with the market. Having recently acquired Time Warner, NTT appears to intend on using its new market power to prioritize its own content at the expense of customers who are growing increasingly dissatisfied with paying more for less. Because of NTT's unreasonable position, today we begin to warn subscribers that they may lose our channels when our contract expires on Friday, March 22nd. This will be our first disruption since 2014, so we remain hopeful that we can reach an agreement that fairly values the amazing entertainment brought to life by our brands and, your, and, and by your talent, creativity, and hard work. We realize many of you and, our, and your families and, f families and friends may be NTT Direct TV subscribers. Feel free to share a link to http dot dot slash slash dot com which will be updated with the relevant news and information. Of course, we'll continue to update you as the situation develops over the next few days. Best, Bob. So that is, that's deadlines. Um, that's their, um, that is their, um, I guess you could say their, um, their, their article on what could potentially be, which could potentially happen is DirecTV may be forced to remove all Viacom channels, uh, whenever I had them. Um, whenever I have them, um, whenever I had them, I had NBC previously removed off of the lineup. They finally, after we put it on there, but, or back on there, but, um, Viacom has put, keep Viacom.com. I will put the link to the article and the link to keepviacom.com down in the description down below. Um, the channels that you would lose is uh, BET, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon. That includes Nickelodeon, uh, Nick TV, or, 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 or Teen Nick, uh, Nicktoons, uh, 
Disney or, or Nick Jr. All the Nickelodeon channels will be gone. And right here, and I will actually back up this so I can actually record the whole thing. You also lose Paramount Network, VH1, Nick Jr., TV Land, CMT, and Lego or Logo. And right here, and I'll actually read it out to y'all, to the ones that um actually do this. So we're not gonna be looking at this. We're gonna look and see what's gonna pop up down at the bottom of the screen in a second here. It says your satellite TV provider is about to drop this channel and 22 more. Call 888-250-5557. Um Ah, uh, I swear I have to back this up now. Um Visit keepviacom.com for more information. And then down at the bottom it says, it says, Attention, your satellite TV provider is about to drop Nickelodeon, MTV, Comedy Central, BET, Nick Jr., Paramount Network, VH1, and many more Viacom channels. Your satellite provider could keep these channels on the air. And at the same time, lower customer bills immediately. Call now and tell them not to drop your favorite channels. And you gotta be must, and it says must be 18 years or older to call. I'm not gonna call them. I'm actually call, gonna call DirecTV in person and explain why my situation in the story. But and it'll say the same thing. So, but right now here's here's what um, Keep Viacom looks like. I'm in the shows you will miss section, and I'm actually going to sit the phone down again. But this isn't fair to direct to be customers who continue to pay more and more, despite channels being dropped, and every time you. And and I bet Direct TV during this is gonna lose a lot of money. They're gonna lose subscribers. Subscribers are gonna call in saying you dropped my bill or I'm leaving you. That's just gonna how it goes. Here's the get the facts section of it. It says NTT's Direct TV contract with Viacom Carry 23 Networks is about to expire. Direct TV. Uverse TV, Direct TV Now, and Watch TV carry up to 23 Viacom networks. These networks are MTV, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, VH1, BET, Paramount Network, Nick Jr., CMT, TV Land, Logo, MTV2, Nicktoons, Teen Nick, MTV Classic, Nick Music, MTV Live, BET Her, CMT Music, BET Jams, TR3S, I can't even pronounce that, BET Soul, BET Gospel, and MTVU. NTT Direct TV is choosing to drop these channels rather than work on their customers' behalf to keep Viacom channels on the air. Viacom continues to make every effort to reach a new deal with NTT Direct TV to carry its channels. However, NTT Direct TV, I'm just going to call it NTT Direct TV, is putting its own bottom line ahead of the interests of its subscribers, which may force a, disrupt, a disruption in their service. Viacom offers enable offers enable NTT Direct TV to lower its subscribers' bills. While keeping the same channels, Viacom is offering NTT Direct TV the ability to pay less tomorrow for Viacom channels than pay today, enabling them, enabling them to pass these savings on to subscribers and lower their bills. Instead, NTT Direct TV's plan is to drop Viacom networks from their subscribers' lineups and pocket the profits and 
not lowered their bills. Poor treatment of customers has become par for the course for AT&T DirecTV. Since DirecTV was acquired by AT&T in 2015, conditions for many subscribers have worsened considerably. From significant price hikes, drop channels, deceptive consumer messaging, and dismal customer service, NTT DirecTV has consistently been in the news. Since recently acquiring Tom, Time Warner and, and anti-consumer practices have increased. Which, in that, that section, I do believe, um, ever since NTT, this is the first time I've heard since about two years after they dropped NBC and put it back on from um, Hearst Television. It's the last time I knew about it. They have removed some other channels in different markets. But um, from my local area, that would, in fact, in fact, in fact me. Because I know, I know I'm almost 15, but I still do enjoy some, some like, Double Dare, stuff like that. And sometimes I just put these channels on to listen. But as Direct, Direct TV's customer service, they're, 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 they're saying, or they used to say that we could give you this for the price and it not be right. That's got much worse. The customer service is worse. They jacked up their prices. So, um... Uh, and, and and I have to support that section because um, it, it's just time after time um, that it's going to happen, yes, but you've got to work on an agreement because if you don't, you can lose subscribers, lose money, and that's probably what they're going to do. Um, and, and a lot of people have children. That have direct TV. I know a neighbor down the street from me that has charter, but has previously had direct TV. Um, the, and and this is and I don't know if they're going direct TV or not, but um, I'm hoping they don't right now. Right here in another section, we got a couple more sections. Right here it says, NTT DirecTV cares about their bottom line, not about consumers. NTT DirecTV promised Wall Street that their merger would deliver billions of savings that would ultimately benefit consumers. Since the merger was approved, however, NTT DirecTV has announced several price increases for their TV packages while at the same time dropping channels. NTT DirecTV is abusing its new market dominance by limiting consumer choice. Consumers want and deserve more options at a lower price. NTT DirecTV is inhibiting the creation of TV products and access to the and access to content that is not sold the, through them. Further, NTT DirecTV is forcing feeding their own underperforming networks to consumers and removing more popular ones from their lineups. NTT is marginalizing diverse audiences and its new DTV packages and threatening to do the same with their existing packages. NTT DirecTV has no African American focused channels in their new TV packages. <laughs> Now, NTT DirecTV is also about to drop one, the number one and number two African, African American networks, BET and VH1, and the number one network among Hispanics on DirecTV, Nickelodeon, along with other networks serving important diverse audiences. The fact that Direct, uh, NTT DirecTV is doing this soon. So soon, after telling the judge department that they would not abuse their market position, is suspect and disappointing. Viacom networks are a great value for NTT DirecTV. Viacom is undeniably the leading cable family serving key customers and communities across NTT DirecTV service. Nickelodeon is the number one kids network with the top 12 kids 
shows all on 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 all of cable. BET is the number one African American network. MTV and VH1 have eight of the top ten reality shows. And MTV, if you watch um, Ridiculousness, you will not be able to watch that as that is on MTV, I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, sports networks are driving up NTAT, DirecTV customers' bills, not Viacom. The carriers of sports networks continues to drive up customer bills. NTAT, DirecTV pays more to carry one regional sports network than it does to carry all 23 Viacom networks. This cost has passed on directly to its customer, or to its subscribers. Viacom is working hard to resolve this dispute quickly. Viacom is committed to developing strong relationships with our distribution partners. We hope that NTT DirecTV will begin to engage in productive Conversations so that viewers can continue to watch their favorite programming. We, ap we appreciate your support and patience. Um, um, the, the last time some major company like Viacom went off DirecTV was, I believe, it was shortly after Viacom put its networks back on. Um, the Weather Channel was dropped from all uh, DirecTV packages, replaced with Weather Nation, which is now on one channel. It's now AccuWeather. One channel is the Weather Channel now. They came back. The Weather Channel actually came back a year and a half to, I believe, two years after they after the dispute started, which very compelled me. Because I uh, I got them I got the weather, the local weather from the latest weather information from the Weather Channel, other than my ten weather videos right here and internet. Because um, like them, they have the best out of the best, just like the National Weather Service. I believe that Direct TV should stop. Pay, or making customers pay much more money for stuff. And if they're going to drop networks, you got to drop your price because you're offering less things but jacking up the prices. I, 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 can't, I can't say that that the sports networks are driving up NTT's DirecTV uh, customers' bills, not Viacom section is absolutely correct. Um, I mean... If it is, they're, they're still making money off it, just like the Viacom channels. But, I mean, you, you've, you've, got to, you've got to know that all this is going to um, do this. I went to the news section, and there's a couple sections there. Um, you'll have to actually... Um, Um, I may do these in another video. There's two that I, um, I look at that and I also see a couple videos, or, or, or I go into the video section. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to see if I can figure out the CEO's um, CEO's, um, network, um, and I'm, I'm going to, um, and, and I'm actually going to, not with, not in this video, but, um, in another video, I'm going to record me talking to the customer service rep, uh, rep, uh, or, or representative or representatives if one doesn't want to talk about it now certainly request for a person higher than them to talk about it um but um again I keep seeing this on my TV uh the the one down at the bottom your satellite TV 
provider is about to drop this channel in 22 more. Um, it's absolutely correct. I cannot actually show these, or I probably could. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to. Um, but, um, guys, I hope that y'all share this video out. Um, get the word out that Viacom is trying to do this to consumers. Or, or not Viacom. DirecTV is trying to do this to consumers. I don't think it's right. My mom certainly said if it does drop, she may even cancel it, cancel direct. Um, but I feel like, I feel like their information needs to be shared. And y'all may hear these, co or, 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 um, commercials saying we're, we're the number one best TV co or, or, or satellite TV in the country, um, with like 22 million subscribers and whatnot. That is, there, there, there's no way in heck, as with this, that they're still going to have 22 million subscribers. Um, um, since I'm not 18 years or older, I cannot actually call Viacom's channel, but I can call regular DirecTV as there's no age limit. On there, and I won't actually say how old I am or whenever I was born and whatnot, so they can't actually know my my age. Um, I'm 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 going to talk to them. I will record whenever I do. Um, but I I, I hope that y'all understand why I'm doing this and why I'm trying to get the word out because I do not believe this is correct. Thanks for watching. This has been a TWC Coaster Productions video.